I think oh, so. Right, we one trip to Hogsmeade complete. There's no one in the Lucan. school I'd be afraid to join. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed ones all set? Why, yes it is. I've got a great match lined up. Ready to redeem yourself? Uh, yes, I think so. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Um... Shall we try with Natty? Yes, Natty. Then let's get to it. Right. Oh. We're getting the grip of it. Aha! We did it! Pity more people can't watch the duels. <sighs> we did it, Natty. We did it. Marks. Bravo! I gave it my all. You did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. But after that last round, they'll really have it in for you. Oh dear. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning. Or at least surviving the next round. <laughs> I'll let you know when we're ready. Hope to see you then. Quite the challenge, the next quite round the is challenge for all indeed. The gobstones, so to speak. Mm. Well, I suppose. Are finished. Yes, we should go and see Professor Hecate and um, let her know how we did. I believe we've done rather well. Very difficult, but a little Wigan Weld potion. Is it solved the problem? Hmm. Never mind. Professor Hecate, good news. Good news indeed. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate you and that you found success in your endeavours? Certainly did. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. Then you should be ready to learn Incendio. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you that Fire is a fickle servant. Oh dear. Your spellcasting has impressed me thus far, but please maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. Of course. Let us begin. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Of course, yes. Concentrate. And keep your wand steady. All right, well. Aha, we did it. Incendio. Hmm. Ah, so I can now go to the library. See. Good work. Hmm. Well, we tend to use Accio quite a lot. Hmm, maybe... We could swap it out. There. Yes. Ha ha! Let's have a look what we have just gained. Challenges. Quests. Oh! Top of the class scarf and top of the class ensemble. Legendary cape. Ah. Hmm. 
Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Hmm. Top of the class scarf. A scarf featuring a house insignia for the brightest students earned by completing professor's assignments. Yes. Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. Well, we can now go to the restricted section, I believe, with Professor Fig. Right. Professor ah, Fig. Ah, there you are. Yes. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Indeed. Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. Oh dear. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. Oh dear. Well, I can go alone. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. Mm. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. <sighs> hmm. Sebastian knows. Let's go and find Sebastian. This is ridiculous. Oh. Well. Never mind. Revelio. Sebastian mentioned sneaking into the restricted section. Mm. Perhaps he'll have an idea. Hopefully so. Uh, oh, a little cat. Hello. Hello. Oh, lovely. Very nice. Revelio. Hmm. Ah, Sebastian, that, that's quite the picture. Um. Sebastian, there you are. There you are. You promised me an explanation for what happened in the Three Broomsticks. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? Um. Hmm. Well, it's to do with Ranrock. Seems he's working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock? And when were you at Gringotts? Professor Fig and I ended up there after the dragon attack. It's quite the tale. Fig had this port key. A port key? To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fig has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. I've probably said too much. Understood. Your secret's safe with me. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. Mm. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight and tell no one. Of course. Um, what about the librarian? How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. Oh, God. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. And what if we're caught? What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, Avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, 
He loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Ugh. Well, I'll see you tonight then. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. Revelia. Any pages? No. Well, Sebastian. See there? That's the door we need to reach. Ah. And those annoying prefects would love nothing more than to rat on us to Scribner. So don't let them see us. Understood? I can be sneaky. Let's go. Hold on now. There's a spell you should know. The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Oh. Cast it and you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance and stay quiet. You mean See. I'll actually be able to turn invisible? Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Well, okay. All right. Disillusionment. Hmm. I see. Maybe we'd better put that somewhere. Um, hmm. Maybe in place of Lumos. I can't imagine we'd be using Lumos much. Okay. Well, all right. Okay. Um. Keep it silent as a grave. Well, yes, of course. All right. Can we? Now the question is... Oh! But it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? Yep. The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. Okay. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Okay. Um, good idea. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. I mean, how do... Why... Okay, why? There we go. Oh my god. Okay, Sebastian. Are you gonna do something? Or... Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Oh, Jesus, she's coming this way. Goodness gracious, what a mess. Okay, okay, not me. Not see me. Where is she over there? Can I go over this way? <sighs> I do hope Peeves isn't up to his ridiculous antics again. All right, I'm just gonna slip through. Get the key. The key. Here it is. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, what's this? Okay. <sighs> Professor Black. Might I suggest a ban on magic in the library? Someone has been sneaking into the restricted section and Cressida Bloom seems to think of the library as her own personal arena in which to practice her latest incantations. It is most disruptive. One might consider Peeves tame by comparison to such antics. All right, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. We can always come back to the library another time. wasn't so difficult after all. No. Now, to find that book. All right, let's go. All right. Revelio. Oh, chest. Hello. Can I have a look in here? I can. All right. What does this do? 
Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. Oh. It's fooled me twice. Ugh. Never judge a tome by its cover, I say. No, well, apparently not. Ghost, <gasps> don't let her see you. Okay, well, can we... Should be in the clear now. There's no need for us to be skulking about. D I'll be quieter than a job and all. There's a hand in a box, Sebastian. There's a hand in a box. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure to help my twin sister, Anne, so that she can return to Hogwarts. Okay. Because Merlin knows everyone else has given up. Why do you think you'll find a cure in the restricted section? Mm. Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help Anne? No. We've tried everyone from Nurse Blaney to St. Mongo's. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're after. All right. Which well, is what, precisely? I'll know it when I see it. Yep. You're being awfully cryptic. Well, okay. Enchanted books. Best to avoid these books if possible. Do not as much to their tendency to fly from one's hands as to their content being spectacular drivel of no educational value whatsoever. Well, hmm. Okay. All right, wah! All right, is there anything else around here? I wonder we must remain unseen. Oh dear. Well... Hmm. Is there anything else in here? No. Hmm. More enchanted books. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. No. Well. Rebellion. Another one of those strange little creatures. Oh. Well. shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty, you'll get caught. Peeves, don't you... I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell. Oh, God. Well... Oh, blasted Peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse for all of this. Well... Don't get into trouble. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Besides, I like having friends who are in my debt. I don't go. like that. Good luck in your search. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? 
Yes, I, I know just the spell to repair this armor. Ah. Hmm. Well. All right. Repair it. There we have it. All right. <sighs> Bloody peeves. Revelio. I'm not a fan, quite frankly, of the idea of being in somebody's debt like that. Especially the way Sebastian said it. Hmm. Yes. Certainly not a fan at all. Alright. Oh. Rebellion! Chest here. Of course. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. We'll have a look in a moment. Kind of hidden chamber. Hmm. Where might this lead? That symbol. We've seen that before. How does one wake up a rune? I wonder if I can hit the rune with a spell. Hmm, well... Ah, here we go. Surprising. No nope. guards at the ready. Okay. Oh. Well. That. Certainly, quite the uh, quite the place. All right, two more guards. Um. Oh, all right. Incendio. Otago. What's 
this? Hmm. Is that a chest? Avenia. It is a chest. Hmm. Is that a little moon up there? No. Hmm, that does seem... Ah. I see. Interesting. Very interesting. A smart fedora. Hmm. All right. be the way forward but to where hmm exactly this seems rather peculiar hmm. Made it. Perfect. Hmm. Rebellion. Right. Ah. I see. Ah. Let me open. Aha. So, what's this? It is a book after all. Hmm. Rebellion. Not seeing anything else in here. the memory
You wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor McCaw. Rookwood? We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad. Especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With the proper training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganach. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. A magic this powerful can do great harm in the wrong hands. It must be wielded by a select few. As such, we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Hmm. Sebastian! <gasps> Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> hmm. He didn't turn us in. Hmm. Ravenia. Well. So we'll have a little look around while there's nobody here. Hmm. Good of Sebastian not to turn us in. He could have done quite easily, but he chose not to. Hmm. 
suppose that has to say Hello. something. Oh, strange looking little figure. So what does it all mean? She started as a fifth year, the same as we did. Ah. Ah, another page. Another page. Rebellion. What do the mirrors mean, as well? Oh. Hmm. Can I spin this? No? Well, ah, the old librarian. One of the first librarians of Hogwarts is depicted here. Rumour is that he had no tolerance whatsoever for noisy students and was known for his liberal use of the silencing charm at the slightest sneeze. Oh, well. Whispering. Something's whispering. Revenia. Hmm. Well, I suppose we'd best go and see Professor Fig and tell him. Well, the good news. Do you need some Spare help? A moment. I could use your help. Okay. Hello. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello. I'm Duncan Hophouse. Pleasure to meet you. Hello. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Um. I've had some good luck. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted, in which case, you are precisely the person I need. Oh. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. A... a puff scheme? I'm going to assume they... they potentially could be quite scary, I suppose. What's to be scared of? They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? Do you get they bitten? seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Oh. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. Oh. That's not very nice. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but... I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumour has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. Oh. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that... Well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. Um, What should I expect in there? What sort of plant should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Potentially not. Well... I'll see what I can do. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. 
Well, venomous, venomous valor. Hmm. Hidden herbology corridor. Sounds intriguing. It does. It sounds so interesting. Hmm. Maybe we could take a look. Wasn't there a... Hidden something? Rebellion. No. Hmm. But where Did might you get your from one find? Oh, ah! What am I missing? The mirrors. Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. No. There's something more to this. Um. Are there other paintings like this here? Are there other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. What have you learned about it, Ian? Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. Maybe I'll have a look into it then. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. <sighs> I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. Hmm. Let's have a little look. Protego! Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. So it has a statue in it. Was it down here? It looks like it's down here. This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Oh. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Ah, so the moth, the moth lives in the frame. Okay. Well, there you are. Um. <laughs> I knew there was a connection. I should tell Lenora that I oh. solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Well. Now we know. So they're moths. Huh. What a strange kettle of fish. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? Um, I followed the clues. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. Well... You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Well, we are Ravenclaws. I should have seen that. We are Ravenclaws. I suppose it. It's part of the. The deal. I really have made a mess of What's things. What's this? Levioso. No. Um. Lumos. Incendio. Oh! Ah! What's... what's the matter? Cressida Bloom? Cressida? Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. Cressida. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. Oh dear. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Oh gods. Um. I mean, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. 
Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. Mm. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened the peace of the library. Oh dear. Our meat told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Hmm. Why did he tell on you? Yeah. Why did our meat tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. Oh. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. Ah. Oh. Well, yeah. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. Well, of course. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. Well, you shouldn't be playing around with things you don't understand, you know. I know it's tempting. So, well, it wouldn't take us long to get these books, I imagine. I'm going to have to use Accio to get to those books. Hmm. But, ah, I see. There's one. Hmm. This, this may be... It's Got it. I need four more to go. Just seen another one here. Where did it go? Where did it go? Ah, there it is. I see it. Oh, there's another. Where did that other one go? Oh, there it is. Oh, ah, ah, ah. this must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this bag too if I were her. Oh. Today was a good day. That is, until Gareth splashed whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed lacewing flies. Had to empty my entire cauldron and start over again. He is such a menace. Thinks he knows everything there is to know about potions. Always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I am utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. Abroth Smokies again tonight for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. Hmm. Well. I feel a little bit rude reading a diary, but... I suppose we, um... Reading really help it. Why can't students hmm. Ah, there's one. Let's head it off. <laughs> Hmm. One more. Aha, there it is. Where'd it go? Hmm. Aha! That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. I mean, wouldn't she... Couldn't she have just used, like, Leviosa on a book bag to carry them? Just as a thought? Maybe? Hmm. Well, never mind. Cressida, good news. Here's your books. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. <sighs> Here you go. Here you are. Well, lesson learned. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Good. Now, to work out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Probably Thank goodness some people are trustworthy. A wise idea. Certainly wouldn't want anyone but me reading my diary. Hmm. It's a relief to finally have an yes. answer as to why. Well, never mind. Never mind. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with Rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Hmm. Unorthodox? 
It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. It certainly was. What? That's... Wait. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Probably. Fair enough. In fact, the book was below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Oh. Oh, dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. Oh, no. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive. Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic too. Why those memories? Hmm. Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. And what will you tell them? What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Of course. I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Hmm. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Indeed. Well, enjoy London, sir. It's time for me to go and um, access more places I'm not supposed to go.